rolling here with Bryce Foster out at the Rivals Camp today here in Houston. Uh, Bryce, let's just dive right into some recruiting talk. Um, not too long ago, named a top five. Uh, tell me about each of those schools and why they made your top five. Uh, Texas, I mean, they have a really good throwing program. Um, you know, Coach Han's been recruiting me for almost four years now, I think, uh, which is a really big deal to me. Um, I've got a really good relationship with him, and also it's pretty close to home. Uh, same thing with Texas a &M. You know, they're really close to home. Our high school is kind of like the Aggie pipeline, right? <laughs> so, <clears throat> and also my brother went there, but I know a few guys on the team, and I, uh, me and Coach Hans have been talking for a little bit. Um, Oklahoma, Coach Biedenball, his reputation you know, says for itself. Um, he put 40 guys in the NFL last year, um, and he also won the Jordan Award. Um, so, uh, that's that, that's a really big thing for me, um, because I, I do want to go play on the second level, or the, the next level after college. Um, LSU, uh, they won the Jordan Award this year, which also speaks for itself, honestly. Um, and I've had a good relationship with Coach O for a while. Um, I've known him since I was like fifth, sixth grade. Yeah, and then um, Oregon, they've been kind of like my dream school ever since I was little because my grandma went there. And um, yeah, so, and also the, the, they're trying to change that from a, like a, kind of like a spread school to like an O-line, a little bit like O-line U. Yeah. So yeah, I, I kind of like that. Well, all those things that you named are really important things. Your grandma's school, your dream school, your uh, family went to a certain school, a pipeline at another school, yeah. knew some coaches since you were like in fifth grade. Yeah. Uh, so how do you like, at this point, how do you decide? Um, I mean, one big thing is, because I'm, I'm a big trap guy too, so that's, that's, that's one big thing. And then um, coaching stability is another one, which I think they all pretty set there. Um, honestly, these official visits are really going to tell the difference between where I want to go, where I don't want to go, because uh, you know, you know, the players, just like the vibe around the area, yeah. where they live and everything, I think that'll be a really big um, game changer for me. Will you take all five, or let's say you go to one and you're like, I know this is it? I'll, I'll take all five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it would be, I don't know if I'll be able to do that, it'll be pretty difficult. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, do you have those set already? Uh, I have the OU official set, but um, I don't have anything else now. When is the OU one? Their spring game. Spring so game, okay. April 14th through the 16th, I think. Okay. Do or 16th through the 18th, one or the other. Do you think you'll try and take the other ones before the season or uh, during I know, the season? I know my last official will be in November. Okay. Yeah, because our bye week for our season this year is all in deep November. So I'll be going to Oregon, hopefully. I, mean, I, gotta get my, I, got, I still got to get everything set up. So uh, that being your last one, um, mm -hmm. obviously we don't expect a commitment anytime soon, at least not until the end of November. Yeah, yeah um, I'll, be, uh, I'll probably be signing on early Sunday. Yeah. You will? Okay. That's what I'm planning to do. Yeah. Okay, well, good deal. And you said when you're on these officials, you're looking for the vibe of the, you know, the team, the school. Mm -hmm. What kind of vibe are you looking for? It's kind of like a family vibe. I mean, someone that I can... You know, 20 years down the road, if I'm struggling, for like trying to find a job, I can text one of like my old teammates and be like, "Hey, man, do you have any openings?" And they'll be like, "Oh yeah, for sure." You know, just just that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And also like the networks coming after football. Now, what about like mom, dad, family members? Do they have a favorite that they're letting you I know mean, about? <laughs> I assume they have a favorite, but I don't, they haven't told me about it. They said, Which one do you assume? Uh, probably my mom, a and &M. My brother is probably a and too. My dad's probably Oklahoma, mm -hmm. so we're kind of <clears throat> we're kind of everywhere. Mm -hmm. But uh, they said honestly, they really don't care. They're supporting me no matter what. Okay. Uh, talking a little bit more about A and M and Coach Henson. When's the last time you were up there? Uh, I went to their Super Bowl uh, party. Okay. Yeah. How was that? It was really good. Um, I got to talk to a few of the players. I got to talk to like the whole uh, track and field staff, oh, which was which was really good. Yeah. I got to talk to the strength and conditioning coach and the head coach. Mm -hmm. So I got to you know. Get a little like, bit of everything. Yeah, I got yeah, I got a little bit of everything. They talk about like scheduling and how they schedule it for spring. Okay. Uh, no, when you said you talked to the track coach, what do you think about A and M's track team? They're pretty good. Um, I mean, they've had I think like a forty-eight national championships. I think is what he said. He's, I think this is what Coach Fisher told me. Like he's the second most. Uh, he has the second most national championship under his belt no, under the uh, guy from Arkansas. Which is, which is pretty big numbers. It's, it's really impressive. Now, what do you think about Coach Fisher, Coach Hinchin, and their ability to develop you and possibly put you into that dream league NFL where you, you know, where you're going? Yeah, I think we're definitely going to do that. Really. 
coach Fisher, I don't know how many first round picks he said he's had, but I mean, he's definitely had quite a few quarterbacks go in the first round. Um, but yeah, I, I, th I think they'll be able to develop me pretty well. And coach Henson has talked about me like what position I'd, I probably would be playing when I get up there. And he said center, maybe, or guard. So Do you like that? You know, I have opinions, but you know, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, so center <laughs> kind of maybe is... Whatever, whatever gets me on the field, honestly. I, I do want to play my freshman year. Yeah, and uh, let's say center was the possibility of the freshman year. Uh, is there chances to move around, or do you think you'll, you would stay at center? I think depending on how I would perform um, during, 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 during like, practice that week and everything, I think that would be like, a game changer. Like, if I can block but I can't snap the ball, I probably won't play center. Right, right. But, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, now, are any other schools talking to you about that early of playing time? Uh, yeah, a lot of them are talking to me about, you know, they're going to be a true freshman, um, which, like I said, I, I do want to do that. Um, but yeah, I, I also I'm looking at you know who's graduating and when and everything, the positions that, that, I, that I play, so I can kind of plan. So if I look at it and you know there's a like Penny Sewell, if I was playing left tackle, right, and I wanted to go to Oregon, but I was in the class that just graduated, I wouldn't go to Oregon today. But you know, Outland Trophy when I was a sophomore, so it's like yeah. But um, yeah, I just kind of look at who's graduating when and everything like that. Okay. Um. Now, so what's next? You're here at the Rivals camp. What can we expect next for you? Um, I think I'm, I think I'm going to the Under Armour camp. And okay. Opening. Up. I think I'm going to those. Going to hit up uh, the big three. Yeah, just mm -hmm. just the three of them. Yeah, but um, I mean, other than that track, I know I'm going to try to see. Okay. All right. Well, we appreciate your time. I guess gold out here today. Going in here today, I tried to repeat last year. Yeah. I won MVP of this game for going to the five star challenge. So that's that's the new goal. And how was that, the five star challenge? Oh, it was awesome. I loved it. I mean, it was it was a long. When you look at the time and everything, it's like, oh, this camp is so long. Like, they made it feel like it was 30 minutes. Yeah. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was really enjoyable. Cool. Uh, one more question. I did hear that Kenyon Green was out at uh, that Super Bowl event talking to some of the guys. Did you have a chance to talk to them? I didn't talk to Kenyon, but I talked to one of my buddies, Max, who went to Taylor. Yeah. And then uh, one of his closer friends, Colton Glenn. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, what'd they say? They were, they were just talking to me about, you know, what it's like being here and how they feel. And, you know, when I'm going to take my official and everything. Trying to figure everything out so they can help me plan accordingly. Right, right. <laughs> okay, well, we appreciate it. We won't take you any longer. Bryce Foster, Courtney Rowland with Aggie Yell.com.